Greetings, this is Mike Huckabee, Detroit DJ, remixer, producer, and Ableton Live instructor at UPhil in Detroit. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create program changes with Native Instruments products such as Pro 53, Massive, and FM8. <laughs> So let's take a look at how to set up a program change for Pro 53. So first I have a MIDI note here on patch 111. And I'll duplicate that patch. So the first clip here in the note editor, we will select bank one and program one. In the second clip, which we will also recolor just so that we can differentiate both, we will set that to bank one, program two. So here we have first clip. And as you can see, that is the second MIDI clip. Again, so the MIDI information is now embedded in both clips. And if we would like to trigger those clips from the keyboard, we can just MIDI map them by keys. So the first clip I'll assign to the Q key on my laptop, and then the second clip to the W key on my laptop. Now, when I hit Q, the first one launches, and then the second one launches to the second preset. So it's really that simple to create program changes in Pro 53. Now this is where program changes above patch 288 get a bit tricky. So if you would like to create a program change for patches above 288, you will need to use subbanks. So here, as we can see, the presets go from 1 to 128, and that equates to patches 111 to 288. But if we change the subbank to 2, program changes will go to 488. Subbank 3 will go to 688. Subbank 4 will go to patches 888, which that is the total amount of presets. So if you're looking for a particular patch to create a program change for, all you have to do is select a program, launch the clip, and scroll up and down to the desired patch. So that's how you create program changes in Pro 53. It's a little tricky, but with a little bit of exercise, you will understand the system. So let's take a look at an example of a typical house bass line that will switch between two different presets. Here we have the first. And then we have the same MIDI clip with a second program change. Again, the MIDI information is embedded in the clips, so we could simply bring over these clips to the session view now. And as you can see, these two clips will play back to back with different patches. So I'll just loop both of those. So pretty simple. So now let's have a bit of fun mixing the bass line or the sequence between different patches. So here we have the bass line. So let's cut that and create an entirely different MIDI sequence where the second half of the bass line now plays the second patch. So again, now we have created different segments of the same bass line which will play different parts of each patch. 
So here we have the first patch playing the first segment of the bass line while the second half of the MIDI clip plays the second patch. <laughs> So in summary, we're using two program changes that pertain to two different patches in Pro 53. Otherwise, we would have to use two instances of Pro 53 to create two different MIDI parts or two different sequences or two different audio tracks. This way consolidates this into one singular track, whether it's audio or MIDI. So now let's take a look at how to create a program change for Massive. Now in the previous example, the Pro 53 presets shows up by default. Now in Massive, the presets don't show up. So what you have to do is create a list in order to get your presets to show up. So when I navigate here to the browser and to the program list, we will have to bring in the presets that we will want to create program changes for. So two rows patches I like, I'll just simply search for them and I'll just drag that in and I simply just drag those presets in and I'll save those, my patches And now, as you can see in the plugin window, those two presets show up. So in order to create a program change for now, we go back to the MIDI note editor window and we select bank one, program one for our first. Now, the second patch, we go to bank one program two. So again, voila, it works. So now the program information is embedded in each clip. So if we would like to sequence or edit the clips, all we have to do is drag them over to the session view. So that's the first preset. Here is the second preset. So let's play it. So nice program change. I can't stress enough how you are saving CPU power you are not using two instances of Massive to create this change and everything is on one singular audio or MIDI channel. So if you wanted to print the audio information, you could print the first patch going into the second sequence all on one MIDI or audio channel. So now let's do some creative editing of the MIDI sequence where the first half of the MIDI sequence plays flowing into the second MIDI part of the second patch. In Deep House, you hear a singular road sound going all the way through the track. You could create an interesting point in the track by introducing a change or subtle effect by switching the patch. And as you can see in the massive window, it is updating or indicating the program change as we play the sequence. Now one other cool thing you could do is to group FMA to massive together and add an effect to the group channel. So here we have Massive and FM8, and I will shift on both to select them. Then I will control click and select group tracks. Now I'll simply add an effect such as auto filter to the group, which consists of FM8 and Massive.
can hear the auto filter being applied to the group channel, which consists of Massive and FM8. So now you've learned how to create program changes in Pro 53, Massive, and FM8. So this can be used to create interesting variations and to save CPU power. I'm Mike Huckabee. Thanks for watching. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.